Hey, everybody. Great news. The Senate passed the stimulus bill. And I think that was the toughest part. So now it goes back to the House. The House of Representatives votes on Tuesday, March 9th. I think it's going to pass. I'm very confident that it's going to pass. And we've all been waiting so long. Um, so I just wanted to share my screen here and show you what the latest information is. And just take a second. So here it is. It says the Senate passed Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief bill. This is from CNN. Um, it was published yesterday for at 4 20, at 4 16 p.m. on March 6th. Um, here's what it can mean for you. So they, they go into different things if you're unemployed, if you're hungry, um, if you are behind on the rent or mortgage, if you have children, if you own a small business, if you're sick, if you need health insurance. Um, the minimum wage will not be included, uh, the $15 one minimum wage. But this says here that the $1.9 trillion coronas, coronavirus package passed by the Senate contains a wide range of proposals to help Americans still struggling with the economic fallout of the pandemic. The, the legislation differs in three major ways. Um, the final Senate package will have to be approved again by the House before it can be sent to President Biden for his signature. But uh, Obama congratulated Biden and Joe Biden made some statements that said the end result is essentially the same. The compromises didn't really change the essence of the bill. Giant step forward. So this is good news, folks. Um, Let's hope some more good things keep happening. And thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.